Hello YouTube, it's Blackmagic8520, and what I was thinking of doing is making a series of Python tutorials to add to my channel, because my channel's pretty dead right now, there's like nothing on it, there's like two videos, and I'm trying to bring it back, which probably won't happen, but anyway, it's gonna be fun. Alright, well this will be the first one, this is going to go over like the most basic commands ever. I'm doing this on Ubuntu 10.04, so most... Almost everything but the actual Python syntax will be Linux-based techie shit. You can do it on Windows. You can write the files in, like, idle and run them through idle or run them in Notepad and just figure out how to run them in the CLI by yourself because I know jack about Windows and I never want to know about Windows. Used to. Used to. That was a long, dark time ago. But anyway... Since I'm too, I don't have I don't have a lot on here. This is just I actually only got 10.04 for these because it has like uh, PyGTK and WebKit and everything, which I'll teach you about in later videos. And it works just fine with my mic. I'm not doing it on Mint 8 because Mint 8 doesn't have drivers for my mic for some reason. So probably all of them are going to be on here until I update to uh, Mint 9 KDE, which I don't know what I'm going to feel like doing. But anyway, since I have basically nothing on here, I don't feel like getting G-Edit or whatever. I'm just going to do most of these in Nano, which is a Linux-based CLI text editor. Nano, quite simple. Okay, now, um, the, that's pretty much how to open Nano. Um, I know Ubuntu and Mint has this. I don't know what else has it. A lot of stuff has it. I think all Debian-based stuff has it. Anyway, just type Nano to open it up like I just did. But uh, even before, uh, type nano, and then type tilde slash, and then, uh, or no, you know what, type home, and then whatever folder you have inside of home, which mine is Justin, and then type the file name, and uh, I'm just going to make a hello world dot pi. By doing this, it's going to tell nano to create a file in home slash Justin, called hello world.py and the dot pi here you need because that indicates that we're going to be writing a python script all right so when i hit enter here it opens up nano and it tells you the file here also since we saved it as a dot pi it's going to have syntax highlighting which is pretty useful for c and shit now uh, to start off here uh, in linux you got to start with with uh, what's called a shebang line do the number sign followed by the exclamation point and slash user slash binary slash python this line tells the Linux kernel which program to use to run this script that is a total necessity if you don't have that it will just be random text alright a couple commands to go over here the most basic python script you can write is called hello world and what that does is when you run it, it prints out the text, hello world. And to do that is extremely simple. We use the print command. Print space. Uh, I don't really know what these are. You know how these things are like uh, quotes here? I use like the half quote thing, so I'm just going to call these quotes in all my videos. So if you're watching this, this is, this is a quote in, as far as I'm concerned. This is a quote here. Not this, this. They both work, but I prefer that one. Anyway, we're using the print command, and then we're going to type hello world. Yeah, world. And you gotta close the little quote thingies. Uh, what this does is it tells Python to use the print command, which will print out the text that we specify by putting quotes around hello world. So if I were to run this, it would print out hello world. To save in Nano, you do a uh, Control O, and then since we already created the document, you just press Enter and it saves over it. And um, I like to open a new terminal tab to run shit instead of redoing it. Or no, no, what did I do? New terminal tab. Here's our second tab. Now, before we can run uh, files in the Linux terminal, we have to give it permission to run by using a program command type thing called chmod. And uh, I know Ubuntu comes default with it. I know a lot of stuff comes default with it, so you should be good. 
So you just do ch mod, which means change mod, evidently, plus x space, and the file path, the file that we're trying to give permission to, which is home or slash home slash Justin slash hello world, and pressing enter will give it permission to run. Now what we do is, since we're in Justin at Justin laptop, that's home folder, that's my home folder, you have to change the directory to where the uh, file is. So say it's in your desktop, you would do cd slash home slash Justin slash desktop, and that would put us in the desktop. But uh, since we saved our Python program in the uh, home directory, we got to be in the home directory to run it. Now that we're uh, in the home directory, we do dot slash, which is the command to run files, and then um, we just type out the file, hello world.py, and it will run. See, it prints out hello world after running it. Let's do that one more time. Dot slash hello or world dot Pi. So it is running dot slash our Python program. And there we go. Hello world. You just made the most simplest, the simple, yeah, very, very simple Python program. But um, we will build on that in future videos because I'm pretty sure I already took up like six minutes of your time. So there you have it. I will be making tons of these videos because I have no life. Subscribe to me. I have no 